Hi guys, I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, I recently added a couple of handbags to my collection. I am so excited about them. I can't wait to share them with you. And best of all, they are both from the early 2000s. Oh yeah. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? And I have a feeling this video is going to be pretty chatty. So just so you know, and I know I promised you guys to show you the reveal first and then do the story time, but I really want to do the story time first when it comes to this. This one. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the one that brings back the most memories because it is actually a repurchase. I had first purchased this bag in 2006 or 2007, whenever it was released, and obviously I sold it. But after this whole talk of the Marc Jacobs M2007 archives being re-released when it came to the Classic Q line, because they recently released uh, four different styles from that line, uh, it really made me think about the bags that I had from the Classic Q line way back when. And I was a hardcore, like a hard, hardcore Mark by Mark Jacobs, classic Q line workwear handbag lover. I had a few of them in my collection and I used them all, but there was one in particular that I would use to death. So as I said, I, I ended up selling them all. But after that whole talk of the 2007 archives, it made me think about the bags that I had. It made me miss them terribly, especially that one. So I scoured the internet. I scoured the internet <laughs> until I found not only uh, the the size that I had before. I actually had the bag. I had this bag in a couple different sizes and in a couple different colors. But again, I'm going for the one that just I used to death. So I had to find it in the same size in the same color and I found it in amazing, amazing condition considering it's 15 to 16 years old. And not to mention, I paid 50 bucks for it. <laughs> so I definitely scored. I've seen a few others on... Um, on the pre-love market for going for like 150, 125. So again, the fact that I was able to pay, or the, the fact that I was able to get it for 50 bucks, I was stoked. Okay, so <laughs> enough story time, right? Uh, here it is in its dust bag. It says Mark by Mark Jacobs. And I repurchased the beautiful Mark by Mark Jacobs classic Q line, baby groovy satchel in black leather. I like I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this bag and I'm like why why did I get rid of it especially if I used it so much if I loved it so much you know but then I started venturing into other brands and blah 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 so um, but anyways this bag just makes me like stupid ridiculously happy uh, the memories that it brings whenever I see it they just flood my mind they flood my brain and there was some there was some definitely some good times when it came to a uh, to this bag but I mean I love Loved the classic Q line. As I said, there, there were a few different bags um, that they had back then, and the leather was always absolutely incredible. I mean, I never had any issues with, uh, with like pop stitches, with the leather wearing funky, or anything like that. Again, this bag is 15 to 16 years old, and it looks, it literally looks like when I first got mine, you know, a million years ago but I, I love it. I absolutely love this bag. It has that slouchy look to it. And even though I know I do prefer structured bags, there is something about the slouchiness that just makes my heart absolutely sing like crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's the sweet nostalgia. Maybe it's the memory or the, obviously the memories, but, uh, I just, I love, love, love this bag. It's so comfortable. And like I said, this is the baby groovy satchel. Uh, it did come with the removable adjustable strap, which even back then I never really used it. I always hand carried it or I put it on the crook of my arm. Uh, but I, I love, love, love this bag. I mean, this tag, it's in amazing, amazing condition. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It has feet along the bottom. I mean, look at that leather. Look at that. It's so soft. It's, oh, it's amazing. But I know that they had, um, they had not re-released, but they ended up making the groovy satchel 
a few years after it was uh, released and they kind of changed the interior but my OG the OG when it came to the classic Q line had to have the black and white Marc Jacobs lining like I loved this lining it's it's amazing so I do have um, there is a little bit of staining in here so the exterior is in fantastic condition the interior could be better, but I mean, come on, it's 15 to 16 years old. Uh, but it does have one zippered pocket on the interior and then it has, and then it has two slip pockets there. But look at that. This again is the baby groovy satchel. I had the largest one, then they also had a size bigger than this, uh, a little bit bigger than this, but I, I love it. I love this leather is just, it just takes me back, you know what I mean? Like I can vividly remember going to the mall, heading to Nordstrom and checking out the Mark by Mark Jacobs Classic Q handbags at their counter and just trying on all of the bags and looking at the beautiful colors that their handbags were available in. I mean, they had the black, they had tan, they had the gray, burgundy. I mean, there were so many different colors, so many styles of bags. And it's it might sound kind of crazy, but I can actually remember the smell of the handbags whenever I was at the Mark by Mark Jacobs counter. You know what I mean? Like it just, it was intoxicating. It was amazing. <laughs> like it just, it totally, totally takes me back. And I am 100% here for it. So I am, I am so happy. I am ridiculously happy that I repurchase this bag. And I just wanted to mention really quickly about the M2007 uh, archives, the re-release of the Classic Q line. As I said, there were a few bags that they recently relaunched. And uh, I was super, super excited for the launch. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, when the bags were available, I actually ended up buying three of them. Uh, I got a little bit carried away. Uh, I have only received one of the three because the other two have yet to ship. I haven't heard any word from them either. Uh, but uh, the one that I I got I actually ended up returning it didn't really I don't know how to I don't know how to say it because I, I love the bag but it didn't make my heart sing the way that I thought it would it definitely doesn't make my heart sing the way that this does so I don't know I can't really put my finger on it I was semi disappointed it was kind of underwhelming uh, just because I expected, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, they're literally the same bag. They're just re-released. Uh, it just, I can't really put my finger on it. I don't know if that even makes any sense at all, but it just didn't give me the warm and fuzzies that I thought I would end up getting after I saw those, uh, after I saw the bag. So um, who knows when I'll get the other two. Uh, maybe those will make my heart sing, I don't know, but if it's any indication of how I felt with the first one, I have a feeling that those might end up being um, sent back as well. But it, I mean, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to share that, um, that little, the little tidbit because I know I talked about them on Instagram, but um, I am just ridiculously, ridiculously happy. And uh, I just love, love, love the hardware. The, look at that zipper. I love how chunky it is. The bigger one had like the super, super chunky, thick zipper that I loved. I would always sit there and play with it. Maybe that's why I'm such a fan of the Givenchy Antigona zipper because that zipper, I mean, that has, that's some that's some thickness to that zipper, you know, and I love it. And maybe that's why it reminds me of um, the groovy satchel. It reminds me of these bags. I don't know but it's still, look at that, smooth, smooth zipper. Oh, I could totally see myself playing with this all day long too. <laughs> uh, but let me show you guys the interior once more. And I mean, the interior is not that bad. I mean, I'm, I'm making a mountain out of a molehill. There is, there are a couple of stains in there, but overall it's, it's in, I mean, it's in really, really good condition and it's so spacious. I can fit all of my essentials in here. I will have to find the measurements so, and uh, I'll actually share them on the description box below if you guys are wondering. And like I said, 50 bucks. 50 bucks is definitely not bad in my book. Uh, I think that they used to retail for, what was it? I think the baby groovy satchel was 378 and then the bigger one was 398 and then four, whatever it was. But um, yeah, I was obsessed. I mean, obsessed when it came to these bags. 
and I am a huge fan of Marc Jacobs in general, uh, be it Marc by Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs, or <laughs> or Marc Jacobs for Louis Vuitton. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed. But very quickly, here is the Speedy 25 bandolier side by side. Uh, this guy is a little bit longer. And then they, there is a, they're pretty, they're pretty close when it comes to the depth, but there we go. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick side by side, but let me know, were you guys a fan of the Mark by Mark Jacobs classic Q line? If you are, let me know in the comment section down below, which bags did you have? Do you still have them in your collection? Share that as well. But uh, I can tell you one thing, this is never ever, ever, ever leaving my collection ever again. This is 100% a forever bag for me. Oh yeah, you know, there we go. So the classic Q baby groovy satchel. Oh man, just the classic Q line in general had some amazing, amazing handbags, right? Okay, so let's move on to bag number two. And also speaking of Marc Jacobs, this next bag is from Louis Vuitton. And as you can see, this is the older packaging. So this is an oldie, but a goodie, at least in my eyes. Uh, we went on a mini vacation and I got this bag at a local consignment shop and I got it for a steal. I've already had it uh, authenticated as well. I used two different authenticators and both came back good to go. But the bag came with the box. It also came, it also came with like the little leather, um, what's it called, the little leather ribbon. Uh, and then here is the textile card as well as the little, um, oh, you can kind of tell what it's going to be, but uh, the little care booklet as well. Uh, so it literally came with everything. And as I said, I got it for a steal, but here it is in its dust bag. Any guesses? What I can tell you is that I have heard many people, many, many people refer to the, <laughs> to this line, to this, um, even this handbag is one of the ugly, one of the ugliest bags from Louis Vuitton. I wholeheartedly disagree. Uh, it is definitely my jam and I am so happy that I was able to add it to my collection as well. But I have purchased the beautiful, the stunning Louis Vuitton baggy PM in the pink denim. Oh yeah. I love this bag. I was a huge fan of the denim collection for 2006 for Louis Vuitton. I love the colors. I like the regular denim. I love the green and I mean the pink, I was all about the pink, but when it came to the baggy PM, I was always a bigger fan of this one as well as the pleaty. Uh, I had a chance to get the pleaty a million years ago when I used to sell luxury goods. Uh, I think, I think the, the client that I was selling it for was selling it for like $275 or something like that. And I was like, no, I'm just going to hold off right now. And I'm just like, dude, that, that pleaty bag is going for like 14, 1500 on the pre-love market. It's insane. But this uh, baggy PM, I love it. I know, like I said before, a lot of people are like, oh my God, it's one of the ugliest bags ever. Ew, pink denim, blah, blah. I've, I've heard so many people say that it's hideous, but it just, it absolutely makes me happy. And that's all that matters, right? That is all that matters. It is absolutely my jam, but the condition that this bag is in is insane. Look at that. Usually when it comes to the denim uh, bags, especially the, uh, the baggy PM, I've noticed that they tend to have a lot of either wear on the corners or on the sides, or uh, they tend to have a lot of color transfer on the backside. This has nothing. It has, no I mean, look, look at the leather. It is still pretty light. I mean, this bag is just, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so comfortable. It's just throw on your shoulder type of thing. I'm going to have to do some matcha so you guys can see it a little bit better. But um, I, I am so happy. Look at that. It is in such amazing condition. No issues whatsoever. Even the bottom. The feet have some, you know, they have some wear on here, but it's not bad at all. And let me show you guys the interior because it does, obviously it is a hobo style bag. Uh, it does have an adjustable strap. It is not removable. 
Um, as you can see here, there is the buckle. And it's just a very, very look at that. It turns into a beautiful mess, but I don't care. I don't care. I love it. Uh, very, very slouchy. So it does have the two uh, buckle pockets on the front, and these are, I mean, you can actually use them. Uh, so here they are. I know it's going to be a little bit difficult for me to show you guys the actual details because it does turn into that beautiful mess. Uh, but both of these buckles, like I said, you can take that off, put some stuff in there, put some stuff in there. Real good, Minnie. Real good. <laughs> then you have one uh, zip pocket in the front, and in here, you just have the regular denim. It doesn't have the monogram, but it is pretty deep, and it's also in immaculate condition. Look at that. Absolutely no stains. No stains. I was stoked. And then the main compartment is also a, zipped, um, a zip pocket, and in here you have one little slip pocket, and it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France. And it's so it's so hard to show you guys. Oh my God, I'm failing at this. Uh, but there we go. And you have that beautiful pink lining. And as I said, you do have four feet along the bottom with a little bit of leather here. And it's just in amazing amazing condition. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. I know. Trust me. I know. But I mean, I can totally picture myself using this bag with just a plain white tee, denim shorts, my Lueve Flow Runner uh, sneakers, and then just, you know, carrying this bad boy. And the price that I paid, it was just like, oh man, kind of like one of those, um, you're, uh, you're in the right place at the right time type of thing. And I just kept thinking, like, what is this wrong? Like, is it is it supposed to be? It was 750 bucks, and they're like, no, 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 that you know, that's it. I'm like, oh, oh my god, you know, <laughs> I, I'm like, I'll take it. And then uh, as soon as we got home, I ended up, um, you know, sending it in for authentication and uh, all that good stuff. And yeah, a okay, I love 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 this bag and the pink i mean i love the pink denim i like the new uh denim collection that they recently launched uh i said that in a minx monday before uh, i think that they're beautiful i love the colors that they that they came out with but i loved absolutely loved the og 2006 uh, denim collection there was definitely something about it and um, I, th I think it's amazing. <laughs> but let me show you guys a quick side-by-side -side again with the Speedy 25. I gotta show it to you guys with stuff in there because right now it's kind of, it looks kind of sad, right? It's like, oh, I'm pink, but I'm beautiful, but I'm kind of sad. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. But I will show you guys uh, how much I can carry in here because obviously I'm able to carry all of my daily essentials, no problem. As I said, I always thought about the Pleaty and I always thought about the baggy PM, but it was so difficult for me to find the baggy PM in the condition that I was looking for, especially for the price point that I wanted to pay. Uh, because I have seen some on the pre love market, you know, that are going for like 2000. I've seen some for like 900 or for uh, 1100, but they have a lot, a lot of wear and tear on them. Uh, so I definitely, I definitely, I think I definitely scored. Uh, again, it's not for everybody, but but I am, I am very, very happy about this one. And I will include a quick mod shot so you guys can see what it looks like on my body frame. For reference, I am five foot five, but I am absolutely digging these bags from the early 2000s. Uh, there's definitely something about them. And it's not to say that I don't like some of the new bags that are being released now, because there are many out there that I absolutely love, but there's just something about the, the bags from the early 2000s or even older when you're talking about the 90s and even past that. Uh, there's something about those bags that the new ones just don't have. And in some cases, I know that might sound kind of silly, but in some cases, I think it really just comes down to the quality, uh, regardless of the fashion house. I feel like back then, I don't know, like you can feel the the quality of the hardware, of the leather, I mean, the stitching, it didn't matter. Uh, it just, it seemed like it's infinitely different from how it is now. Again, I'm not trying to sit here and say that new bags are trash, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So please don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Uh, it just seems like some of the older bags or vintage bags just have, I don't know, they have something to them uh, that just, 
that works. That absolutely works. But um, anywho, I digress. I'm getting off subject. But I'm so happy that I was able to add both of these bags to my collection. Both of them at great, great prices and both of them in amazing condition considering the age that they have. So that makes me uh, makes me super, super happy. I, <laughs> I am a happy camper for sure. But anyways, that does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.